Hello, this is Tony Riggs. I'm a senior applications engineer with Go Engineer. And I wanted to show you some of the new awesome tools that came out with GrabCAD Print version 1.24. So, one of the nice things about GrabCAD is the ability to not only bring in STL files, but CAD files, SOLIDWORKS models, Parasolid, I just step all kinds of different 3D models and we'll see some of the advantages of bringing in an actual CAD model as opposed to a faceted STL with this presentation. So one of the new things here in GrabCAD print, if we go to file and preferences, down in the FDM area is the enable advanced FDM. So this is available for 370, 380, 400, 450 and 900 printers. So we'll see what that gives us. The first thing we might notice is an extra icon here for advanced FDM. So once we go into that mode, we've got the ability to come in and choose our different printer that we want to use. And I can come in and add a model, and I'm going to bring in an idler arm here. So this is actually a SOLIDWORKS part file. There's also Parasolid, a couple other different file types that we can bring in. So let's open that up. But if we come in and take a look at the part file, this is an exploded view of the part. So we've got multiple bodies, and we're going to take advantage of the multiple bodies and faces that are here on this model. The first thing we need to do is come in and right click and merge these all into one group. That gives us the ability to come in, if we double click, we can set the material, we'll say ASA, We'll do it, you know, 10,000 slice uh, and leave it like that. But we can come in and do things a couple different ways. If we double click on an individual body, we can go into the selection settings. And for a body, we'll pick on this guy. And we've got strength and rigidity. But I'm going to go into the advanced options right off the bat. And I want to make this specific body solid. We'll play with some of the other settings here in a second. Back here at, at this level, maybe we come in and take that body. We're going to control select this guy. And we've got the ability to maybe use one of these other infill patterns. So we've got single dense, double dense, a new hexagram option or the solid that we saw earlier. Let's do a regular hexagram. Maybe come in and choose this body. Uh, make him hexagram as well. For this body, maybe we come in and take a look at the strength and rigidity options. So the default is a single dense, but for strength, if I pull this over to the left, it's going to be um, changing the density of the sparseness. So here I'm, I'm less dense. The rigidity, this is controlling the number of contours around our body. So we'll go with the least rigid and, and kind of lowest strength for that specific body. For this body, I'm going to come in and double click on them, him this time. Uh, choose the, the body option. As far as, as strength, we'll go a little bit dense, denser. Uh, maybe come in and still be fairly low on the rigidity. But one of the options here is to come in and use some face options. So this bottom face, I can actually come in and control the surface thickness. We'll say about a quarter of an inch thick offset contours for this face. You can come in and play with some bodies here. Uh, but we've also got uh, some face options that we can play with. So that face, and we'll roll around and control select this face. And we've got options here for apply and insert. So we've got some heat set inserts, some brass knurled inserts, uh, helicoil options in different sizes. Here for the custom insert, it's come, coming in and it's actually figuring out what the diameter of that hole is from the CAD model and giving us an option for you know, a wall thickness around uh, that particular face. There's options to avoid seams in certain areas and on certain faces and that sort of thing. Uh, but some fairly interesting options here. Model geometry is out of date, so we need to update that. So it's actually changing the geometry to get that, that face thickened option. OK, 
Okay, so we've got a couple more things that we can do here on the slice preview. We can enter the slice preview. Now this takes a few minutes, so we're gonna you know, speed this up a little bit in the video. So when we get into the slice preview, it goes through and builds a toolpath, comes in and, and puts us right in the middle layers going through here. We've got some different options that we can turn off and on. Do we really want to see the support material? The support material is going to kind of be there no matter what, so we can kind of remove the visualization of it just so it's, it's not you know in the way for us. We've got the ability to do the 3D preview and 2D preview. That's really just shading the, the contours are not up to layer, all layers. If we go with a single layer, that might be a little bit easier to see. So down in this bottom body, we've got a nice solid build. Here's the additional uh, contours added to that bottom, e bottom edge and face. We've got the new hexagram option, a very, very sparse area, very thin uh, number of contours around the perimeter, got two. Down here we've got a, a much higher density of rasters on the inside. So let's see what else we've, we've got with this, with this model as we go up and down through the layers. We're going to come down to those holes and it's, it's not visible you know, once the part is actually printed, but inside the model we're seeing that additional thickness added to the part. So if we come over and take a look at the part that I've actually printed, we've got the area where we've got the solid infill around this bottom area, the additional thickness to that one face, the high density, low density, and the new hexagram option, and then the hole, and you can see where you can't actually see where it's added that extra strength to the model. It's all hidden under the regular looking printing of the that part. So there's some really interesting ideas coming with this new GrabCAD print option for advanced FDM and we'll see where they can take it in the future. There's all kinds of different ideas of options that we can use this new tool for. So again this is Tony Riggs with Go Engineer and I hope you enjoyed this video.